Tracy here. Today I thought I would share with you what I take in my little art journal travel kit. So this here is a container I bought from Target when we had Target here in Canada. It has a little handle, the lid locks, and also it's stackable. So we have my art journaling supplies in this one. And down here we have my card making supplies. And these are if I'm going to a friend's house to do some crafting. Instead of bringing all my supplies, I just bring, well, sometimes I bring both. I bring my art journaling and my card making because at one friend's house we do both. And other times I'll just bring one or the other. And one thing neat about this container also is you can add to it. It has the side here. Let me share here. So this one holds the lid. And if I didn't have a lid on it, I can put another one on top. And this one here holds this bottom piece. See, you just undo it. And also, you can stack as many as you want because there's another little tab here. So you can put another one underneath. And they all interlock and they all have this, um, this little locking mechanism on both sides. So these are great to travel with. So I don't need the bottom one. I just need the top one. But let me share with you, this is also what I do because I am like lists. <laughs> so when I'm going away um, to a friend's house just to scrapbook for a little bit, this is what I take with me, are these. And it depends on what I am working on. Like here I have the scallop border punch. Well, maybe I'm not going to use that, so I'm not going to take it with me. So that's what I do for scrapbooking. And then these are the ones for card making. And again, depending on the card I'm going to make, some of these aren't going to apply. Like if I'm not going to use punches or washi tape, then I don't have to bring those with me. So for card making and scrapbooking, I kind of know what I'm going to be doing anyway. And then this last one here, this is my art journal supplies that I take with me. So you can freeze frame that if you wanted to check that out. So let me share with you inside my little travel case here. And also I labeled because I like to label things. So usually I just take my card making or my art supplies in this container here. If it's scrapbooking, I do 12 by 12, of course, it's not going to fit. And then I also labeled this art journaling supplies. And then the other bottom I labeled for cards. So let me share with you what I bring with me. So I bring an acrylic block. And my friends usually have one. So if I forget it, not a big deal. And these are baby wipes. My daughter bought me this cute container for them. It's supposed to be to put in your diaper bag, but hey, it looks cute in here. And of course my art journal. This is what I've been art journaling in lately. So we bring, I bring this one. And I'll show you this one here, because this is kind of like a compact. Everything's com more compact in there. And I had to buy, and I haven't opened it yet, I had to buy a new archival link because I can't find mine. And I do that. I don't know where I put myself. Like, I have three memento inks because I couldn't find them at, for the longest time, so I bought another one, and then, of course, I find it. And also, um, with my memento ink, I always keep one up at camp all year round. So, Or not all year round, but in the summer. And then um, I knew what I wanted to work on, which I didn't get to work. I didn't get a chance to work on. I knew what kind of page I was going to work on, so I'll, I have these here. But anyway, I bring paper towels. Because, you know, I'm not going to use my friend's paper towels. And if we're at a crop or something, I just, it's more convenient to have my own. And then these here have been used, but it doesn't matter. These are um, my Xyron backing. These are the backings of the Xyron. Now, if you had the Tim Holtz um, craft mat or anything like that, that would work fine. But these, if they get too mucky, I just, I just get rid of them. So those are always in there. And like I said, I knew what I was going to, I knew what I wanted to work on. So I have different um, stamps here or different, yeah, oh, there's a big, yeah, oh, great. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I have in here, I have some stamps that I was going to use, some more of those um, clean backing sheets. There's some more different stamps in here. And I also brought this because I wasn't sure if I was going to write the journaling. And if I'm going to write the journaling, I need straight lines because I can't draw a straight line with my life dependent on it. And then I also have some of these little um, just texture stamps here to just add a little bit of something. Art journal stamps, I guess. I don't know what those be called. So texture, texture type stamps. 
So those go in there. And obviously I was doing a butterfly, butterfly theme because I had some rub-ons. And then just some stencils, different stencils that I might want to use at the time. So I always have some stencils in there. And also these are makeup sponges. I just put them in a cute little baggie because when I use my paints, I'll just use these for troweling. That way if they get too mucked up, you can just get rid of them and you don't feel so bad about getting rid of them. And I'm going to take these out just because there's glare from the overhead light. Now this here, this was my little travel kit that I kind of minimized and I'll show you why. This is just a chocolate box. I'm not sure what kind, but um, I want to say like Rocher or something. I don't know, but um, my daughters give me all their chocolate boxes because they know that uh, I reuse them. And then I just use this here. We'll take this off again. I just used one of these bands. These were from the Smashbooks, just to keep everything contained. But it's a pretty good seal on it, but I just like to keep everything contained. So, what I was planning on working was with my Distress Crayons. So I brought those. They fit nicely in that little container. And I brought a Sharpie, just to do some doodling if I wanted to do some doodling. Um, some palette knives. And these are... Just the little cheapy ones. I have better ones that I keep at home, but for traveling, these are fine. My little mister of water. And then these here, these are the Delusions paints. So let me share with you. Like this here, this is the full-size Delusion paints. And I just put some into these little containers. And these, you can get at the dollar store. That's where I got mine from. And I forget how many are in a package, maybe six in a package. So when you're, you don't need a whole bunch to begin with. And if I'm just gonna travel with them, I'm just gonna bring some little ones with me. And then this is a little bit bigger. See how the container is a little bit bigger than the paints? Cause you use more of the modeling paste. So this is modeling paste in here. And it's this stuff and I think this is the one it is it might be a different type but anyway whatever it is it's modeling paste and I wrote at the bottom light modeling paste and then these I didn't write anything because I know that they're paints so they're nice and tiny they fit in here perfectly then a couple little brushes and you can use these for lots of little different things so all of these I was impressed actually because at first I was just gonna make that I was just gonna do this so I'm like oh I'll just put these in here let's see how much I can fit and I'm like well I want every color of the paints because that's just what I wanted so I had that in there and actually you can fit quite a bit in this little chocolate container can't you and then we'll put the lid on it you just gotta make sure that the packaging you can even take these out of the packaging the uh, distress mark or distress crayons but I wanted those in there. So that is how I made everything smaller to make them into a little travel size um, travel size art kit. So I can take this with me wherever I go and I don't have to take all my huge bulky um, so I don't have to take all my big huge bulky art supplies with me. I can just take this and I have a little bit of everything. I just thought that might be helpful and fun and I thought I would share it with you. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you have a very creative day today. Bye now.